Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John and today's video we're going to try these three Irish whiskeys just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Let's get into it. Alright, thanks for coming back and watching the video and uh, as we take the journey of learning about whiskey and tasting whiskey, uh, that's where we are here today and that's where I am here today. I don't know where you are today, but today I'm going to try and just in time for St. Patrick's Day and uh, here where we live in Chicago, that is a big deal outside, so let's get to it. These are probably the three most common Jameson whiskey. You got Bushmills, you got the Tullamore Dew. Of course, we do a lot of bourbon reviews here and uh, I'm excited about getting started on this Irish whiskey. Let's get to it. All right, before we start off with this first one here, I just got to show you, and you guys can tell me what you think about this stuff. So. I ordered a bunch of these on Amazon that were really cheap. There are these little, uh, you know, pours that go on the bottom here. I watch a lot of videos where people struggle and they make a mess at the top of the bar. We just came across these that were like very cheap. And if you look at this, it just slaps right on. It is terrific. And the pours are so nice. Look at that. No spills, no drips, really cool. I just thought it was neat and then you don't have to keep putting the cap back on and off because it comes with a little rubber cap and then that just goes right over there and you could actually cap it and if you check this out I'm going to show you the picture here too if you look at the top of that make sure when you pour it that this little hole is on the top that's what creates the air and it comes out really nice and then you don't have to worry about the cap because like I said they give you this little rubber uh, cap that goes over this just make sure that when you put it on Make sure that you give it a twist at the end. So it actually goes over the gap the air gap uh, Hole that they have over there. You can actually seal the whole thing off. Look at that. It's really nice I'll try to get like a nice looking picture of it But pretty neat. I got a bunch of these if you you can save them like that I think I got like 10 of them but they work nice, you know. Now, of course, if you're not gonna use the bottle for a long time, you just pull these right out and you just cap it as so. So, let's get to it here. This is the Tullamore Dew and the legendary Tullamore Dew. All right, this is uh, the first run at this whiskey. Let's give this one a try. You know, I, I knew that, we, you know, I tried this a little bit uh, I've had some of this before, but it's been a long time and I don't think I've ever tried bush mills So this is going to be a good test for me, too, but uh, I know that Irish whiskey being triple distilled It's more I'm trying to get past the alcohol a little bit first If you want to get past the alcohol smell the back of the glass, okay away from you you immediately get the smell without the um, alcohol. If you do the front, it's more alcoholic. It's really weird. We watched the video on that one time. Um, let me give it a try. Wow, I don't know what to say. I mean, that is like super smooth. I'm waiting to get a taste. There's really no burn. Um, I taste like the like dark chocolatey kind of bitterness of it uh, in a, in a good in a good way. Let me go back into this thing. I smell like a lot of like dried fruits. I I, I from my I understand that Irish whiskey is very fruity anyway, so uh, that's what I get. A lot of dried fruits. Maybe some kind of hazelnut or something like that. Wow, just, just 
terrific. It really is. You can't complain about this all day. You just drink it on ice. It does leave a bitter taste. Now, I'm not saying bitter in a bad way. I'm just literally saying it's kind of bittery. Chocolatey is kind of bittery. Hazelnut can leave like a little bit of a, a bittery taste. That's what I'm kind of getting from the back end of this. But yeah, I would have no problem drinking this. Uh, awesome. Let's move on to the next one. And again, I just popped this off from here and I just slapped it right back on here. Look at this pour. I mean, how nice is that? Without spilling anything on the bar. Pretty cool. Let's give this a try. So this is just Jameson Triple Distilled Irish Whiskey. Another smooth Irish Whiskey. I, again, I see these are like the most common brands. So uh, for St. Patty's Day, you're going to a party or something, I think you can't go wrong. So far, this one is pretty darn good. Compared to color on these two. Oh, I gotta say that the Jameson is a little darker. Much fruitier right off the bat. It took a little while for the fruit smell to come out of this one. And this Jameson is already kind of showing that. Oh yeah, very fruity. Like, uh, not high, like sweet, like apple. I smell a lot of apple. And like honeydew, like a melon. Wow, that is super good. Super good. I thought this was gonna be the top one right now. Right now, this Jameson is it for sure at the moment because I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the fruits. Let me go back into this guy here for a minute. Yeah, oh, it's big time. So this thing is like hazelnutty, chocolatey on the bitter side of things. Uh, uh, sweet, but darker sweets. Where this thing is like apple and like melon, lighter uh, fruit, fruity stuff. Really nice to have that contrast side by side. All right, let's move on to the Bushmills. This thing, I imagine, is going to be pretty good too. Um, get a fresh glass here. Again, let's test out our pour. All right, so that's the Bushmill. Uh, Bushmills got an interesting story. I mean. It says Bushmills were granted its license to distill in 1608. Bushmills is the oldest licensed distillery of whiskey in the world. Our signature Irish whiskey is aged and seasoned in bourbon barrels and sherry casks. Ireland's most classic whiskey. I mean, this has got to be it, right? So if you had to choose the three, you'd go with this one. Let's find out. Let's see what the taste brings out. It's certainly the clearest one. All right, so for the Bushmills, getting a more weedy, earthy taste to this, or smell, I'm sorry, smell to this. It's definitely has more alcohol uh, potency to it, I believe. It's like a stale type smell, but not a bad thing. Sometimes the expressions or the words used are not the best, but I'm trying to work my way over there to where exactly I'm smelling there. And it's, that's where it started me off, you know? Like, uh, okay, now I'm getting it. When I met by stale, I meant like been sitting around or dried out. Now I'm getting like dried fruit smell probably been moving around a little bit 
much harsher and more whiskey than flavor for sure. These guys pack a good flavor depending on what your palate wants that day. But this is much harsher. It's just even hard, it's just kind of hard to explain. But that's what we're here to do, right? Try to just talk about this and figure out what do we taste. It just tastes like a, just a spirit. Okay, that's, that's where I'm at right now. This has got fruity flavors. This has got some rich, darker stuff type flavors like coffee, chocolate, hazelnut stuff. Fruity flavors. And this just tastes like a spirit. And I don't know, I think I could find other things, to me personally, uh, better than Bushmills the original. A little disappointed by that. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps out the channel. And uh, have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe, don't drink and drive. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, look. Go. Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway Ain't no 